Welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Whiteborny and this is 36 triangles, set four. In this video, you will make a new set of triangles with the facts in a new order. When you are finished, your paper will look like this, and then you will have a chance to take a closer look at the relationships in the triangles. For this activity, you'll need a pencil and a blank piece of paper. Pause the video until you have those supplies ready. The first step is to draw 36 empty triangles. Before we draw the triangles, remember that you can pause the video whenever you like. If you want more time, simply click pause. We'll begin by drawing six triangles across the top. Draw the first triangle in this corner. Draw the second one here. Draw the third triangle here. Draw the fourth triangle here. Draw the fifth triangle here. And draw the sixth triangle here. And remember to pause the video whenever you want more time. You'll draw a second row of triangles, a third row, a fourth row, a fifth row, and a sixth row. Go ahead and pause the video now until you have finished drawing your triangles. On your paper, you have six rows of triangles. We'll fill each triangle in with two factors and a product. Let's begin with the top row. I'll fill these in. I'll read each one to you so you can copy it onto your paper. And to make it a little easier to see, I'll show each one to you in a larger triangle. As I read each one, copy it onto your paper. Let's begin. The first one is six times seven is equal to 42. Six times seven is equal to 42. The next one is seven times eight is equal to 56. 7 times 8 is equal to 56. The next one is 6 times 8 is equal to 48. 6 times 8 is equal to 48. The next one is 4 times 9 is equal to 36. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. The next one is 6 times 9 is equal to 54. 6 times 9 is equal to 54. The next one is 8 times 9 is equal to 72. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 4 times 8 is equal to 32. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. The next one is 7 times 9 is equal to 63. 7 times 9 is equal to 63. The next one is 4 times 7 is equal to 28. 4 times 7 is equal to 28. The next one is 8 times 8 is equal to 64. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. The next one is 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. The next one is 5 times 9 is equal to 45. 5 times 9 is equal to 45. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 7 times 7 is equal to 49. 7 times 7 is equal to 49. The next one is 9 times 9 is equal to 81. 9 times 9 is equal to 81. The next one is 3 times 8 is equal to 24. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. The next one is 5 times 8 is equal to 40. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. The next one is 3 times 9 is equal to 27. 3 times 9 is equal to 27. The next one is 5 times 7 is equal to 35. 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 6 times 6 is equal to 36. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. The next one is 3 times 7 is equal to 21. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. 
The next one is 5 times 6 is equal to 30. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. The next one is 2 times 7 is equal to 14. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. The next one is 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. The next one is 2 times 9 is equal to 18. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. The next one is 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. The next one is 2 times 6 is equal to 12. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. The next one is 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. The next one is 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. The next one is 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. The next one is 3 times 4 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. The next one is 3 times 5 is equal to 15. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. The next one is 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. The next one is 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And the last one is 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Now you've created the fourth set of triangles. Remember that you can explore these facts by covering them with three pieces of paper. One piece to cover the rows you are not focusing on yet, another piece to cover the products, and a third piece to cover the factors. Then slide the paper to reveal the factors. Think about what the product might be and say it out loud. Then to check, slide this paper to reveal the product. Then think about how the factors are connected to the product and repeat the process. Slide this paper to reveal the factors. Think about what the product might be and say it out loud. Then slide this paper to check and think about how the factors are connected to the product and repeat the process. Slide this paper to reveal the factors. Think about what the product might be, say it out loud, then slide this paper to check and repeat the process. When you finish, shade in the ideas you are very familiar with. So your paper might look something like this. Then go back and look for connections you didn't notice the first time. Look for big ideas, look for strategies. And then your paper might look like this. And the new triangles you shade might be some of the most important of all because those may represent some powerful ideas that you are developing. Go ahead and cover the triangles, shading them in, and look for powerful learning opportunities. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is 36 Triangles, Set 4.